Hey everyone, I just came to check out my teas kind of randomly, and uh, Killer, my B. albopolosum or Honduran Cooler here, check it out, on her back, I love it, I wish I could time lapse this, because it looks like she's just getting ready to start, um, unfortunately I don't have a camera right now that will record the whole time lapse. Um, so anyway, I'll keep you updated as she goes, but here's the beginning stages of it. So we'll see how she does. Keep your fingers crossed. All right. Go kill her. All right. So we're about two hours in and not much has happened. I've seen some little movements with the fangs, but she's still just chilling. Get ready to do her thing here. There you go, there's some fang action. I don't know if you saw that or not. Anyway, I'll keep you guys posted, but it's been about two, two and a half hours since I noticed, so she must have just flipped when I noticed her. Um, yeah, so I'll keep you guys updated here on her progress. All right. All right, so back with an update. It's been about three hours since I found him, four hours since I found him. And he's starting to go. I really wish I could make a time lapse of this. I don't have a camera that will do that though. Or at least with enough battery power to do that. Anyway, I'll keep you posted as he starts to crawl out of here, but so far so good, everything's looking good. All right, we'll be back. Man, I don't know if I got that. He literally just turned around, turned over. Hope I got that. Crazy. I went and uh, was gone for about two hours, hour and a half maybe, and just walked in, and he was in the process of flipping over. And I was like, oh, I'm... so hope I got it. We'll see. Looks like a good molt though. Look at that guy. He's awesome. Hey, buddy. Sorry to shine this right in your face. <laughs> anyway, killer, my Brachypelma albopelosum, freshly molted. June, what, 27th, 2017. Started, I would assume, around 1 o'clock. It's now about 8.30. So, anyway, good molt. Alright, we'll pull this mold out of here and see uh, what we've got. Alright. Sorry, buddy. You're good, though. All right. Let's get ourselves a molt. Look at those fangs. Cool. Awesome. All right, so here's Killer's molt. And, uh, We'll sex it here. Um, anyway, it came out pretty good. Do a little measurement here. So a little diagonal leg span. All right, shakiness. So maybe four inches on a good day, pre-molt. So she's probably four, four and a half now for sure. Good size, good looking molt. All the way through. Ooh, look at that. We'll have to check that out. Pull this off here on the gorilla hands. Here we go. Get rid of the carapace. Open up the book lungs. And if you look, so here's the first pair of book lungs. One, two. Here's the other one. One, two. And then in between, that's where you want to look for the epigastric furrow and the spermatheci and the flap. So if you look right here, you'll see. Oh, sticking in my. Come on, let go. Sorry about that. If you look right there, you'll see there is a flap, and oh, I can get it much closer, but I've got some magnifying glasses. You can see the two red dots of the spermatheci right there and there, and this little lip flap. 
So now you know kind of where you're looking. Let's put. There we go. So killer, a rescued Brachypelma albopelosum is officially confirmed a female. Sweet. I'm excited to see her. Uh, once she gets stressed out, I'll give you guys a little update. Otherwise, uh, thanks for watching, everyone. See you guys next time. All right, everyone. So this is the next day, and here is Killer. She's looking awesome. Definitely got a lot bigger. Those legs are a lot longer. But looks good. Moving around a little bit. Abdomen looks pretty good, especially after a molt. She's a little fatty. Anyway, just want to keep you guys posted. Um, she'll probably be in the next feeding video here in a few weeks. Um, otherwise, thanks for watching. Hope everyone's having.